Hello everybody, this is Mystic Jen. I'm here with an unboxing of this new rune set that I just received. Um, bottom already wants to come out. I received these yesterday and I never opened them. Okay? And I thought we will discover what's inside together. Okay, so let's take a look at what's inside this box. Oh, it's a tight fit, very tight fit. Okay. Man, I really packed this in here. Okay, first of all, let's see what the back says. Serving as the alphabetic letters of Norse and Germanic tribes, runes were not only fundamental symbols in communicating, but were themselves believed to possess secret and magical qualities to discover hidden meanings, foresee events, and discern likely outcomes. Included in this kit is everything needed to learn, master, and apply this ancient art. It's 25 radiant rose quartz rune stones to start a discovery journey. I like the fact that it's rose quartz. An elegant drawing drawstring carrying pouch to store and protect the stones, and a 120-page book of runes covering the history and the meaning of each rune, how to cast rune stones for divination, and various runic uses for meditation, magic, and blessings. Oh, I'm excited. My homemade runes are nice. I wanted a professional set also. And these really weren't that much money. They were under $20. I want to say there was like maybe $14 or $15. Here is the guidebook. And they have full color. pictures and it tells you the um uh, of course my phone wants to fall we'll just leave it there um you know it's that's a magic there's reverse room meanings okay that's gonna drive me nuts i don't like it that low sorry I'll just show you my stand sometime. It's a sticky back. It's supposed to make your phone stick to it. Anyhow, this is in the magic part. And, okay. Evoking the runes. There's all meditation. Um, this is what I started to say. The mundane, esoteric correspondences. I mean, I'm anxious to dig into this. Bedtime reading. My garbage bag is just about full, ready to be emptied. I know I got scissors down here, but I 
see if I can do this without scissors. Yep, I can. This is the pouch for the runes. It is Hills Velvet, and I like black. I might get my Cricut machine out, my die cutting machine, and I've got iron on vinyl, and I have a heat press. I might do some kind of like the th a three goddess symbol or something, and iron on this, possibly. We'll see. I have to see what the heat settings are for this, for this kind of material, see if it's, I can or cannot. These are the runes. And I tell you what, they look gorgeous. And I hate tearing off shrink wrap. I don't know about you. It's like I want in it now. I don't want to piss around. We're trying to tear off shrink wrap. They couldn't just have this open up at the end, like the box, and put acetate on the front, right? No, couldn't make it easy. Irish woman, or how many Irish witches does it take to open a box of rooms? There we go. Oh my god, I love them. I love them. Oh my god. Oh, look at this. Uh, the camera doesn't do these justice at all. Yeah. This is real rose quartz because you see not each stone is, ex they're square but they're not 100% exact. This, these are lovely. And they were engraved, or either engraved or hand carved, and painted gold inside the engraving. These are gorgeous. I'm in love, folks. I am in love with these. I tell you what, I'm going to have to do a live feed on one of the Facebook groups or on my Facebook page. Okay, why are these stuck? You got to be fucking kidding me. Why would they do that? Put sticky... Glue dots. Yeah, they stuck these down with glue dots. You know what? I'll get the part reasoning for that. They were, they weren't going anywhere. This is birch. I 
I will be running these through. I got some sage over in my cauldron. Uh, you can see my cauldron over here. You can see the stick of sage. I'm gonna be burning that and running my rune sets through the smoke. Of course, a glue dot had to stick to this one. I am so much in love with these. If I have to take glue dots off of every stone, I'm not gonna be happy. I was gonna get the bone set, but I really wanted the runic book. I have a book of runes on my Kindle but I really wanted a physical book. And I even have a notebook that has runic meanings in them. But, okay, we've got, aren't these gorgeous? These are gorgeous. should be up this way. This is the upright position. In the box, it was reversed. I should go look up the reversed on this one. This one's one of the ones that's non-reversible. This one is not reversible either. This one, I think, was reversed. Yep. In the box. Man, this was stuck to my hand. It didn't go into the book. This one I'm going to set aside. I'm actually going to research that one because it came up. Reverse in the box and it's sticking to my hand. We will dig into the book together, find out what that means. This one was reversed too. It should be like this. And the infamous Odin's rune. Odin's rune is a blank rune. It means anything is possible, some things are hidden, unknown. You know, it's like a magical room, really. Okay, so this room was in the box reversed. I'm gonna look it up because it stuck to my hand when I was putting the runes in the bag.
trying to find the rune that I'm looking for. I'm going to really study these and really learn these because... The self, family member, friendships, associations, rational intelligence, race, memory, Aquarius, this is water and air. Okay. It's about friendships. And it's also about the self. It, um, I want to see there. I know it says um, reverse runes in here somewhere. This is about casting. Reverse runes. Hmm, isolation. It also can mean greed, selfishness, egocentricity. I am taking this as being isolated only because I know my situation. Let me tell you what's been going on with me. I had somebody give me a bed and some dressers and... I've been living with my two sons for almost a year now. And my youngest son is the one that owns the house. Um, and since I've been living there, I've been staying in the one bedroom upstairs. It's a two bedroom house. My youngest son has been sleeping in the living room on a recliner. I've been using the bedroom, and most of the drawers are mine. He has some drawers that are his in that bedroom. Both of our clothes are in the closet. But I had the opportunity of having a bed, and it's a nice, it's a good one. It's a, it's a twin. It's a craftmatic where the feet and the head can up, low, can raise and lower, and he even has a massage, a vibrating massage in it for the back. Anyhow... We set everything up last yesterday, and I slept downstairs in that bed, in my makeshift bedroom in the basement. And it's really not that bad. There's one brick or block wall, and the other two walls have been petitioned off, and they're drywalled. Um, there's no door or anything. It's at the bottom of the steps, but that'll come in time. Any, to make a long story short, that coming up is isolation. I guess Spirit's trying to say that I'm isolating myself. I sh even though I have my own space, I don't need to hang out down here. 
This is the messages that I'm getting for myself. I don't need to hang out by myself 24 seven. Okay, I should go upstairs and be with my family, be with my kids, interact with them and stuff. I think that is spirit telling me, the runes were telling me, don't isolate myself. But this is what I have. This, these, this is my new set. I can't wait to get started with it. I'm going to be studying these. Nighttime reading to fall asleep to. And I'm going to, once I, and for fish, and once I'm comfortable with them, I am going to offer them as paid readings. Um, I may be on either here on YouTube Live. When I reach a thousand subscribers, I have to reach a thousand subscribers before I could do YouTube Live from my phone. My phone is what I do all my recordings on. I don't like doing it on my computer. Um, it's a pain in the ass. So as soon as I, as soon as I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna offer free readings with the runes on on YouTube live on YouTube live stream. Okay, so make sure you share my channel, tell people about me, and help me get to a thousand subscribers. And I'm gonna do a bunch of free readings with the runes here on YouTube. Okay, but that's it for now. I do thank you for watching. And I will talk to you later.